Hello, this is Francis from McCaffrey's Crafts, and uh, finally we've reached it towards the uh, the end of 2020 in the uh, the Blackthorn selling season, I suppose. Um, like any orders that come in now, they won't be shipped until uh, after the Christmas, so they'll be shipped probably the first week in January. So I just wanted just to make a video just to to let people know. Now it's too close to Christmas. There's there's no way of getting uh, getting a, a stick, so. Any uh, any orders that like by all means keep the orders coming in and they'll be shipped then probably on the second of January and then they'll take you know these type of sticks they take about three or four days with courier so you'll have it early January like there's no there's no issue there um, so I just kind of just wanted to just to announce that first that thanks uh, for you know the fantastic support over the year and that any orders that come in uh, will be shipped. Uh, in in January, just the very start of January. Um, I'm going to take a few days off and relax a bit. Like it's coming up to Christmas. Uh, it's not not often that I I've been you know when you're working as um, a stick maker making these these sticks. Like you know here's you know some that you know as you can see my kitchen in the background is pretty much destroyed. I'm straightening these sticks and still doing a bit of work. But you know I'll probably be uh, be taking some like just not too long, just like a week or something, just over the Christmas, just to, to chill out and unwind a bit. And, uh, you know, it's good to, to get a break from the black thorn as well. Like, you know, if you're, you're a stick maker, you, you know, if that's your job and what you're doing every day, sometimes, you know, it, you know, a lot of people, they do stick making as a hobby to get away from another job. But for me, this is my job. So I'm looking forward just to playing with the kids, chilling out, uh, playing some Xbox with, with my son and uh, watching some movies and, just the usual family stuff that you do at Christmas, drinking loads of tea and chatting and doing the family thing anyway. And uh, it's a good time of year coming up to Christmas. Look, you know, there's all madness going on in the world and all this and that. But at the end of the day, we still have family and different things. And for all the Irish diaspora around the world, you know, it, it's great that, you know, you have a piece of black thorn this Christmas. You know, uh, it's a connection to Ireland. I, I know you're away from Irish soil now, but don't worry. You know, uh, this thing will be over. You will be allowed to visit Ireland uh, again, probably next next summer or something like that. And, uh, you know, Ireland is not going anywhere. It'll still be here for you. Uh, so I know a lot of people have been messaging me. They want to come. They want to visit me. They want to see my shop. They want to, me to show them some Blackthorn. And, uh, you know, if you make it all the way to my shop and to Kerry, just let me know a day or two beforehand just to make sure I'm, I'm around. And, uh, you know, I'd be happy to meet you. Um, you know, there's a few places around Calorgland that I know where Blackthorn grow, so I can just show you if you, you know, if you want to see some Blackthorn in the wild or something like that. But just once you kind of message me in advance, just so I kind of know you're you're on the way, and uh, be quite happy to to meet meet a number of you. And uh, you know, who knows, I might even go visit or go. I know there's there's some good guys in in France, and you know, there's a few of these stick fighting groups I would mind to to go over and have a have a chat to. I know there's a guy up in Galway, he's interested in stick fighting, might go up and have a chat to him and. Uh, you know, you never know where, where I'll end up because I, I, I do like to travel and, and get around myself. Like, you know, I'm living here in rural Ireland. You know, it's not the most glamorous place in the world when storms and the winter rains and, and all of that. So it's, it's nice to to kind of go out and, and see a bit of the world uh, as well. Um, over the Like I'll take about a week off, but then over the Christmas, I'll, I'll make a few more. But I kind of I have a few custom orders that I'm going to just take my time with over over the Christmas and um, I'm actually going to be making, I have just right behind me here, I have a number of sticks that I've straightened. A very nice, bat, like this one, like, you know, this is going to be a beautiful stick. Imagine like, you know, the knob stick on this one, good inch and a quarter thick or something like that. Like, you know, it's a good, strong, hefty stick. Uh, spent my time straightening it. Here you can see what I'm beginning with. So it's, it's kind of pretty straight there, as you can kind of see, if you're looking straight down, look at that for straightness just to give you an idea of the angle, you know, and then you have the knob at the, the top. So uh, in that, I'll probably make a bunch of sticks and then maybe, uh, depending how I feel, maybe about the 27, 28, 29, just before New Year's, I might just throw, throw a load of them online. And uh, yeah, then it's back to, to shipping and packing and posting and all that stuff then in the in the new year. Um, you know, the, like usually in January, like you're dealing with, um, a lot of orders from for people who want more sticks or someone who saw a stick and they're like, oh, that's amazing. I want to have one of them myself. So so January can be can be quite busy as well. And uh, you know the the weather isn't great in in January, but uh, you know summer will be here soon. You gotta gotta 
you know, focused, focus on the prizes and, and, you know, little small term things. So, um, yeah, it's just a quick, quick kind of video today. Well, it's five minutes already, but just want to uh, kind of update you of where I'm at, tell you about the next shipping dates, tell you about the next batch of sticks that I'm going to be making and um, giving you a heads up that the next batch is going to be good. Now, I know you like, I know you all, I know the sticks that you want the best. Like uh, I, I, I have a bunch of them now lined up because, you know, at the, at the Christmas run, all the best sticks get taken. They're all taken and everyone wants the same type of stick. And, you know, there's only, there's only so many sticks that I can make. So all of those one, all of those people messaging me that just couldn't get that stick, that the exact stick they wanted, just don't worry. You know, I'll be always making sticks and making more. So you've no, no worries there. Um, but by all means, like there's still plenty of quality sticks that I put up on the site in the, in the last week. Uh, but you know, these, these bigger ones are the, the ones that people want, like, you know, these kind of bigger, heftier type of ones. So I'll be making a bunch of them, uh, over the year. Uh, I do plan hopefully that that'll get some Christmas presents, better equipment for making these YouTube videos. Um, I think next year I'll, I'll give a proper go now, like, cause YouTube videos was just more or less a quick thing here and there, show you a little glimpse into my life and, uh, a few of the things I'm doing, but I've been kind of like looking at the comments and listening to what you guys want. And I have a pretty good idea. And I've written a load of notes of the direction you want. You want kind of more videos, seeing a stick from start to finish about the process of how I make it, about how, how all of these things. So I think, uh, you know, in the, in the new year now, I'm going to kind of put a plan together and, you know, try to put, you know, some, some plan of action to kind of like maybe put, put a bit more effort into this YouTube thing. Now there's kind of, you know, I've got, got 2000 people now and there's a nice, nice group of stick collectors that follow the channel and really nice bunch of guys. Like, you know, I think the whole year there's only been one messer, like, you know, um, on the, on the channel, but other than that, you know, that's to be expected. Like, <laughs> do you think that bothers me? Not in the least. Like, you know, there's always going to, it's not, it's not the first time someone comes online and says, you're an idiot, you're this, you're that, like, you know, I think we're all men here now. Like, you know, if, if you get offended by, by one or two guys calling you an idiot, you won't get too, too, too far in life. Um, those voices, they don't, you know, you, you, you'd hear them. You don't even pretty notice them or stuff like that. Uh, so other than that, like, you know, that's, that's kind of where I'm at. That's kind of my plan. I'll probably have a rest now for a week. Think about plan of action for next year. Um, I always try to to think of how I can grow the business um, think of how I can be better. Uh, there's always a competition. There's always a new few stick makers that, you know, they, they've come out of the woodwork. No one's ever heard of them, but, you know, apparently they've been making sticks for the past 20 years and they're an expert. So, you know, I, I, I always, it's kind of funny, like, you know, next year now I'll see the next batch of these local experts who've been making sticks, you know, for the past 20 years, but no one's ever heard of them because they just decided to take it up as a hobby over the Christmas, probably from watching some of my videos. Uh, there's a bunch, bunch of lads now that 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 will be coming out next year and different things. So, as a shillelagh maker, like you know, I have to keep the tradition, keep the the quality of finding the wood, and you know, uh, you know, trying to to be better, trying to make more sticks, see if I can up the type of sticks that people want, and you know, you're always trying to adapt, and you know, maybe more hiking sticks. People seem to like the hiking sticks more of the small little kippings and battas and, and shillelaghs, the smaller ones. There's a good interest in that too. So yeah, I'll be just kind of like listening all the time. And uh, the, the the Christmas time is usually where I have time to think and unwind and and see how I want to, to approach this as, as well. And uh, again, just finally, just before I go, I just want to say a big thank you, genuine thank you to all the people who've watched my videos over the years and have bought with me. Um, you know, they, it, you know, it's, it means a lot that without this YouTube, I probably wouldn't have got through the, the pandemic as, as well as I did. Um, you know, a lot of people have watched this, you know, they're, they're, they know who I am. Uh, I think I have credibility in the Blackthorn business as well. You can see that I, you know, I have the wood. I, you know, you're, you're dealing with, with someone who makes them. Um, and I think that's the most important thing. Like, uh, you know, there's been some great support for local businesses, for craft businesses. Um, you know, it's it's great to see the sense of community around the world. Like, I don't think people talk about it enough. Uh, you never hear news stories really about, you know, how people who don't have much, they, they give what they can to each other. Like, you know, I, I try to myself, you just try to support people. You try to support Irish businesses. You try to support Irish craft, crafters when you can. Like, you know, you have to look after yourself first and your family. And then when you have 
to, to do a bit of shopping, just kind of think, right, you know, can I buy this locally or can I support a, a crafts person? Like I'll support a craft person anywhere in the world as well. It doesn't have to be just Ireland. Like if there's a really good crafts person in France or, or in America or Canada or, you know, anywhere, England, Scotland, Wales, wherever it is, if there's a good craft person and they, they need a bit of support or stuff like that, you know, and I, I'm looking for presents or gifts there, you know, I, I always tend to, to look to, to crafters and, you know, ones that I trust and ones that I kind of can see them where I know who they are and uh, I know they're they're making them sticks themselves. And, uh, you know, they're the type of people that I like. And uh, so Merry Christmas from uh, me, Francis McCaffrey, uh, from my dad, Frank McCaffrey, who, who's on six videos this year. Uh, I know uh, like, I'll try to get him over the Christmas maybe get him a few drinks into him or something like that and get him talking, tell him some of his, his stories from the old days or, or get him talking about shillelagh or, you know, if you really want, if you really want to have some fun videos, I can, I can go into that minefield of, of Irish politics. If you want to, uh, you know, if you want, if you want to break from, from, you know, hearing about British politics, Brexit and, and American politics and stuff, you know, we can talk local Irish politics here in, in rural Ireland or, you know, we can we can pick up some some hot topics or, or something like that. Uh, or like, you know, just email some suggestions or messages. Say, look, I can do a QA and a where you give me a list of questions and I, I'll go to him with my dad and say, right, answer all these questions now. And like, you know, he'll answer them all. Like, you know, and I'd have no control over it. It wouldn't be scripted. It's just I asked him and we don't really plan these. We just turn on the camera and see how it goes. So, I, yeah, I, I, I've I've going to do some more of uh, my dad videos as well. Because like, you know, he's in his 70s now and, you know, he's been doing the stick making for, you know, as well for, for a number of years and more so as a kind of hobby and different things. Like I do it more for like a full time job. But uh, it's good to get his his perspective as well. And uh, yeah, like it's, um, you know, over the Christmas, just message me different ideas, different things. Like I'll be picking them all up. Like, you know, the madness of the Christmas run seems to be behind me because God, there is working 12, 14 hour days up to 3 a.m. Trying to get things done, uh, you know, turning my house into, you know, this this kind of disaster of a warehouse and shipping zone. Uh, so it's good to, to kind of finally get to, to have a breather now and kind of get back to business, which would be promoting Irish crafts, promoting shillelagh making, uh, promoting my, myself. And, uh, you know, uh, thanks very much. I'll leave it at that. Bye bye.